Today I'm gonna show you how to quickly make a cobblestone or stone base. So I'm in Autodesk Fusion because that's usually the way that I do it. So the first thing you want to do is create your base. Um, so we're just gonna create a quick sketch. Um, so usually bases are 25 millimeters but if you want to do one that is slanted then what you will want to do is probably go to 23 millimeter uh, and then what you want is so how thick your base is gonna be so what you want to do is just create a plane we're gonna put it below so it's gonna be at minus let's say two cent two millimeters and so now you are gonna go on that plane you're gonna create another sketch this time you want your 25 there we go and so now you have once you finish your sketch you have your two different planes you want to create a loft which is gonna be between this plane and this plane and here you go you have your tapered base so now what you want to do is basically you want to have a pattern a pattern that you can then extrude so you want to go into this you want to create onto your the top of your base and you want to create a sketch. What you want to do then is you want to want to insert so either an SVG or a DXF. Uh, right now we're going to insert an SVG and so we're going to insert from my computer and so what I want to grab it so I have one that I've prepared earlier here we go so now this is completely out of scale so the first thing you're gonna want to do is use this to scale it down to something that's gonna look okay on your base now as you can see this picture is quite big what you're getting is a pattern on your base that looks pretty much okay now you could have multiple base just spread across in a rectangular pattern and then you would have one two three probably three by four you could probably fit in there and you could have multiple base but I'm just gonna show you for one how to do it so once you have this uh, you're gonna click OK to finish the insert then what you want to do is basically create now you're gonna create another circle which is gonna be the same as the previous one um, sometimes you might want to go to like 22 get a little bit of a space in between the edges and and the, the plane um, so let's do that so we're gonna do a 22 millimeter so it's gonna be a one millimeter there we go and once you've done this so it it is quite heavy as far as file is concerned but now what you have is you have your shapes and now you can extrude the shapes inside your base now something like this that is so small I will not want to extrude that even this one I am not sure I want to keep it but here you go that's pretty much what you have now the thickness of this let's put one millimeter to just see how it looks uh, we want to keep joint let's press OK and here you go now you have your little rocks that are sticking out now you might want to have this edge just tapered inside uh, and that's something you can do as well but the other things that you can do 
you can just go back to this and be like, all right, so this, this, and this, for example, uh, are gonna be, so maybe those two and this one, they're gonna be, uh, let's say 0 0.5 only. All right, so that's good. So you do those, you go back, you wanna see your sketch again, and then you're like, all right, let me do this one, this one, and this one and this are gonna be 0 0.8 okay this one this one so again extrude this one this one this one and this one and those are gonna be one and now what you have is and maybe this one and this one we're gonna do extrude at like 0 0.4 there we go so now what you have, and if we remove the sketch so we can see, what you have is a base that is not uniform and, and looks, you know, like up and down. And so you can create effects like this, like stairs and things like this. Now, if you do not want to take the time to find a cobblestone pattern or something like this, and then you can actually make those shapes yourself. So if we go back to before we did, what you can do is you can create your sketch on this and then you can just make it yourself. So you can create and what you want to do is split. And uh, you want to create your shapes, try to be as organic as possible and it's gonna be the same so you create your shapes wherever you want and there we go once you're done it's gonna be the same thing you're gonna want to extrude those maybe one again one millimeter and here you go now you have your little shapes they can be whatever you want but they can look like rocks or anything like this so here you go. That's a quick way of doing it. Uh, if we go back, remove those, and then go back to what we did before. Oh, there we go. There we go. So that is a pretty easy way to do a base. Now, once you have your base, the problem is printing it. One way to do it that is probably the best way of printing a base and we've talked about it in the, in the podcast before is what you will want to do is basically construct another plane so this one is 0 0.15 the reason for the 0 0.15 is because I have my layer height at 0 0.25 0, 0, 0.025 millimeter for my printer, for my resin printer. And so the first five layers that it's going to do are going to be 0 0.125. And I try to increase that for one more layer. And what we will want to do is create a foot for that base that basically will take into account the elephant foot when you print something. It tends to spread across. So what you would want to do is on on your plane so if you want to create a sketch on that plane now this is going to have to be a lot smaller so now your corner is 25 what you will want to do is be at 22 roughly uh, for this one and then on the actual base so this is the foot of the base this one was as you can see a little bit further down now you want to create one on the foot of the base that is gonna be just one millimeter again smaller so we're looking at 24 and let's finish that so now the problem is, and I will go back to my sketch because I think, yeah, I don't want 22, I want 23 on this one. So basically what you have is 
you have one millimeter from here to the ones that I created and then another millimeter to this one so now you can see so that's the base at 25 that's the inner at 24 and that's the one that is lower at 23 and now what you want to create is create a loft same as you did for the base itself between those two and what is that going to create is it's going to create that tapered foot that you can see there so now when it's going to print it's going to print the layers and those layers the first layers are 30 seconds so this is going to start bleeding out and basically by the time the 30 second is done they should be about the edge and so you want to do it as you increase so that you will have a space that you can actually slide your scraper in and just remove the base now that's it you have a full base that is basically ready to go uh, and you can print it just flat as it is all right now if you wanted to print this then uh, if you don't know uh, fusion 360 what you want to do is you go to body you go to save as mesh and then what you want to do is go custom and then choose the application that you want and my application is going to be lychee so basically this is going to send it to lychee lychee is starting and i should have started it before but anyways so you're starting in into lychee there we go and that's all you need to do like you that's pretty much the only thing that you will need to do is once you have lychee there you go your base is there so there we go your base is in the middle and so if you look if you select it and you look underneath you can see that there is this little lip that is basically gonna be when you're gonna print it's gonna by the time it reaches there it's gonna print so now uh, what you want to do and I'm tired of seeing those things always asking you but anyways uh, that's pretty much it that's all you're gonna have to do and your base is ready to print as is now if you want to print multiple you just make copies of it and so on but basically that's it you can export and you just export it as is and it should work the only thing like I said is if you want to export it so my setting is basically right so it's fast and tenacious 5 to 1 and that's what I use for making my base I've got five layers 35 second exposure time this I have not changed now what I've changed is this my tend to print my minis at 0 0.025 now if you do 0 0.025 times 5 you're gonna get to 0 0.125 now my foot is 0 0.15 because I wanted one basically one extra layer that just to make it a little bit better uh, now I have not tried those yet <laughs> but I've tried similar uh, similar exposure and so on now what you can do is you can choose for example if I wanted to I could do my six now and I know for sure that now my six layers at 0 0.025 that's gonna be the size of the foot you could also do four layers at 0 0.25 four and that could be another things that you want to do uh, zero point yeah zero point four if you want to use zero point zero four sorry if you want to put put the original zero point zero two zero five then you realize that well I got a one five so I would only need like three layers to do it the only other way that you can change this is actually go back to your file and change the actual thickness of that elephant foot that you put on the bottom well it's not the elephant foot but the, the base that you put on the bottom of your base 
that extra piece you can tailor it to whatever settings you have I know that sometimes you can get 0, 4 and 4 layers and then you got 0, 16 and so on and so forth so now we're gonna reset those like I said I like to print as 0, 2, 5 and so I know for sure like I will still keep it at 5 even if it's a little bit smaller than what I have so and I am gonna and that's about it so again you can change this the only thing that you have to change is your uh, how far you've put that construction plane so like I said right now it's 0 15 you can change it to 16 if you were gonna be doing four layers at 0 4 if you were doing 0 5 layers and you wanted four layers then again you could just change that to 0 0.2 again and so on and so forth and so you can tailor that little lip thing to your base now if you realize that when you do this you have the base is not quite uh, you know like there's a hole in underneath or something well you can still take that base and just send it flat uh, which is usually the best way now if you still get the elephant foot then you want to reduce this you want to reduce your circles like your your first two circles so that one which is at 23 you might want to reduce it to like 22.5 or 22 and then the other one which is at right now at 24 I believe then that one you can also reduce it to 23 or lower and so try it out and see what you can do all right well i hope you appreciate that little uh, fast tutorial i'm gonna try to get this video out uh, pretty quickly and uh, yeah thank you for uh, watching hope that was instructive and if you need anything just put a comment ask question Again, uh, you can insert so SVG or DXF file. Uh, you can find PNG or JPEG online of cobblestones pattern. Black and white is better, a lot better. And then you can find SVG converters. Uh, and I will put one link in the in the description below of the one that I use, which is online. You just drop your file in there, pops you, uh, gives you an SVG, and that's what I use for this. Again, um, pretty simple, pretty quick. You can do a lot of things with this. You can make those. I mean, when we inserted, you could have I could have made it a lot smaller. That would have been very small rocks. Uh, you can make it a lot bigger. You can fight pattern of actual. Uh, cobblestone streets and bridges and things like this which are like aligns and so on and so forth and so you can do uh, a lot more with this and again you don't have to do one at a time you can do a whole bunch it will slow down your computer quite a lot uh, especially if you're like me working out of this little um, like a laptop so but hope you enjoy uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see more video like this. Uh, maybe on also 3D printing. Because I've been doing a lot of 3D printing. Uh, for all the bestiary of uh, Frostgrave. And this is why I made some bases for Frostgrave. Frostgrave. They're not like this. They're actually cobblestone. Uh, but yeah. So let me know if you want to see more of those. Hope it's not too long. And enjoy. Bye.